we start this video, I want to show these Timmy's lids, okay? Have you, got, have you Tim Hortons, whoop here, have you ever heard of the saying, don't fix fucking something that isn't broken? Look at this shit. You know how many times I spill coffee on myself since I just, okay, whatever, we'll start the video. You all get what I'm saying. <laughs> I like them for the hot chocolate, but Fuck apparently people don't like them, so teach their own, I guess. Don't fix what's not broken. Fuck. Anyway, so we just got home from Comic-Con in Brockville, which was smaller than we thought, but I mean, it's Brockville, so we should have figured that. But um, it was our first one, I think, that either of us had been to. So, um, but I wanted to go to meet Mofo, I believe is his name. Mofo. And I'm, Mofo. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, if you're watching this. Um, I did tell you. When we met you, that I didn't want to say your name. I don't think he'll mind it. I don't think he'll mind. We're we're, um, we're white people. We're the crackers of the situation. I think he understands. So yeah, but yeah, I wanted to meet him because he was in Saw, Saw Three. Unfortunately, he was on the rack, and then Brandon wanted to meet him because he was Junebug in the movie Get Rich or Die Trying. That movie defined my fucking childhood. Any ki any people that are now tw in their like middle of their twenties late 20s will understand that 50 Cent was the shit back in the early 2000s. I mean, in the club, candy shop. Candy shop's a little whack now that I'm older, but you know what? Take you to the candy shop. Let but you, like, when anybody like, hears it, they can Every fucking buddy knows what that song's about. It ain't about a real lollipop, you know what I'm saying? But either way, Junebug, man, that guy was a fucking absolute boss. After this video, I'm going to have the wife import in this video the two vid video drops he gave for my show. And... Let's just say we're we're gonna be cooking up a little interview. Maybe a cup cut so they can see. Oh yeah. This is the show. It says it backwards, but you get the. But joke. you know what I mean. We're gonna be cooking up a little interview. Um, he said he wants to come on the show to follow him on IG and shit. So I sent him a, you know. So maybe you can stick around and look into that Instagram Outlaw Radio Live. Ah, Timmy's. Yeah. So we got up super early because our driver had to go to a wedding. So, um, which was my mom. It is what it is, you know. <laughs> so we had to get up super early. Um, but the con started at 10 this morning. And they had a post on Facebook that said, if you show this post about the Comic-Con, you get free comics. So, of course, we were in the first 500. So, we each got a free comic. It's this. Um, we didn't see the author there or the artist there, so, uh. We didn't get him to sign them, but... I'm just bugging. I'm the shit disturber of the NB experience. I'm the husband that hasn't got divorced yet, so... <laughs> how could you... How she can put up with me? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> but... And then... Uh, so... Brandon got... One of my Saw movies... Signed. And I got another Saw movie signed. Yeah, because I want to do want to say one thing, and I don't give a fuck if she's listening. Four years ago, you little whore, you threw, like, a stack of DVDs at a third-story window, bitch. And you know what one, one it was? Get Rich or Die Trying. Alright? I never thought I'd be able to meet anybody from that movie, but guess what, motherfucker? You literally took an autograph opportunity, so metaphorically, bitch, suck my cock. It's not talking about me. No, 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 no. See, no, if I was talking about her... I think my nuts would be twisted in a 360 rotation, and I'd be like, oh, and I dropped my knees. But, fuck you. You ruined half my shit, but that's okay, because you can't ruin my fucking spirit. And I got to meet Junebug, which was, he was really fucking nice, actually. He was really super cool. cool. I found out Dr. Dre's like six foot three, which blew my fucking mind. Not only is he buff, he's also tall and he kicked my ass. Yeah, he shared quite a few stories with us. Um... Only a couple of us saw because Brandon kept talking about yeah, Richard died trying, but you know, whatever. It happens. It is what but it is. You didn't really want to go at first because normally Comic Cons aren't really his type of thing. Well, can I be honest though? I like Comic Con. It's just the stuff I like versus the people like, for instance, there's a lot of geeks, okay? And I'm, I'm a geek, but in my own way, okay? Um,. People are salty. Those geeks are salty. It's weird. I saw a guy dressed as the crow, which Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's brother, that's fucking right. That was the crow. 
So I was like, obviously, I don't know, some people were dressed as elves and shit, and I'm just not into that crap. Darth but Vader. if I see Brand, Brandon Lee, someone dressed as him, it was a really fucked up version of Brandon Lee. <laughs> but I give the kid an A for effort. So I was like, hey, you know, love, love the crow, man, great movie. And he's like, uh-huh. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? You're like, you, you should be, sub- I, I should have been like, yo, how the fuck do you even know who the crow is? That movie came out when you're in your daddy's ball sack, but I would show it some hospitality and was nice, but fuck them. That's what I mean. I cannot do Comic-Con, guys. I love the stuff, but when you walk in, it feels like you just walked into the comic shop at the big, of the Big Bang Theory. You know that guy? Fred his name? Stu? Stu's comic Stu? book shop in the Big Bang Theory. You just walk in and it's all virgins. I felt like me and my wife were the only people in that place that had sex. Other than Junebug, because you know he gets around, you know? <laughs> I, I can't believe all I, I say all this shit. I always say, oh, I'm not going to rant. Next thing you know, it goes on YouTube and we'll fuck. And then we also got to meet this I'm guy. Just gonna I'm just going to walk away now. I'm just going to walk away now. I love you. Mm. See you on our BNB experience. Remember, hit that bell. Subscribe. Most of all, hit the bell. Right up. This should be right this way. Some, you know what? You catch the fucking drift. It's somewhere around this vicinity. Click it. Hit the bell if you don't. Just kidding, guys. I love y'all. So, yeah, he didn't get his copy of Get Rich or Die Trying signed because, like he just said, it, poof, was gone. Um, it was but frisbee, guys. It was a uh, frisbee. He got two of my copies of Saw and the one where Mofo died on the rack. So if you guys ever saw Saw 3, he's the one on the rack where his arms, his legs, his head get twisted off. Yeah, it's a gruesome death, but I think he did good at it. He did good. He said that he lost his voice for like what, like two, three days straight? He had no voice, and he still had to put on a screaming act, so that was the third one. And then Saw 6 he was in. He said he was the body in the wheelbarrow when they were getting rid... I think it was when they were disposing of the bodies, when Jigsaw or... His helper Amanda was getting rid of the bodies. Um, but yeah, so he signed both copies. Mine. Can't really see them very well because of the lighting. But yeah, he signed it. And then he signed it with his character's name, which is Tim. So if you guys ever saw those movies, you know, that's who we met. Was Tim on the rack. I'm going to input some pictures and a very short video that I did of the... Uh, comic-con because we were having a blast talking to him because he talked to us for 20 30 minutes both times we went to his table so really cool guy if you guys ever get to meet him definitely take the chance take the opportunity because i guess like we both said super cool guy super nice to talk to easygoing he's said he's from toronto so you know he's definitely going to be around the area i guess he's going to the kingston comic-con i think I think it's coming up either this weekend or next weekend. So if anybody watching is going, make sure you check it out if you're in the Kingston area. Um, when we went to Brockville, it was $5 to get in. And it was 20 for autographs. Um, our autographs, we actually got before the guy that takes the money got there. Um, not our fault. We didn't know. Mofo, Mofo didn't say anything. He's just like, yeah, sure, I'll sign them. Um, selfies are free, though. Pictures with him are free. And if he, if it's not busy, like he will make sure that your picture is perfect. He will not let you leave unless he likes the photo and you like the photo. Otherwise, you will be taking them again. So just a little heads up. But yeah, if you guys ever get the chance to meet him, like I said, if you're going to the Kingston Comic Con... And you have a chance to get there, make sure you get there to see him. Like we said, he's in Saw, he's in Get Rich and Die Trying. Um, there's a few other ones, but those were the Four movies brothers. that we saw. Oh yeah, Four Brothers. He is a gang leader, I believe, in that one. Bonafide so, gangsta. Bonafide gangsta, as Brandon says. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, super cool guy. Make sure you hit up the Comic Cons, especially if you see him on there. He's really awesome. Make sure, you, even if you have to wait in line, make sure you do it. So I'm going to input the video of the Comic-Con, our pictures, 
with Mofo. Mofo, sorry. And um, Brand's shoutouts for his radio show that he got. He got two shoutouts, video shoutouts, um, for the radio show. So I'm going to input them as well in the video. So make sure you stay tuned and continue watching the video to see them. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Bye. You already know what it is. It's your boy Umpo Kwaho, chilling out with my boy Brandon. And I wanted to shout out Outlaw Radio today. You are now listening to Outlaw Radio. We hanging out right here at Junebug, a.k.a. You already know what it is. 50 Cent, when you get Richard Dye trying, Brandon, you are now listening to Outlaw Radio. What's up, party people? It is your boy Umpo Kwaho here, a.k.a. Junebug from Get Rich or Die Trying. I'm hanging out with my man Brandon. And you are now listening to Outlaw Radio. <laughs> But yeah, next thing I know, it's like, you hear my like 90% of these guys I've talked to, I've up idolizing, and you think, oh man, these guys are crazy. I was just going to say, there's a lot of that. I, I, I and then you meet them, and then you're... Wow.